In this video, let's see the next topic on matrices which is called as operations on matrices. That means if I have been given two matrices or two or more matrices, what can I do? What other operations can I do with those matrices? The matrices may be operated in the following manner as you can perform addition on matrices, subtraction of matrices, multiplication of matrices by a scalar quantity and that is modification or its corollary can be negative of a matrix. We'll be seeing it later on. And the fourth is multiplication. So in this video, particularly, we are going to take the first operation which is called as addition on matrices. Now I have given the heading addition of matrices. Let's see how and what is addition of matrix actually. Suppose I have been given two matrices. The matrices are namely A and B. The A matrix has elements as A, I, J denotion. The B matrix has elements as B, I, J denotion. And both these are of the same order that is M by N. By M by N order you already know that it means M rows, N columns. Now the order of these is same that is given to me. The order should be same. Now. After addition, what will happen? The addition will happen in the following manner. A plus B, IJ is written. IJ means the first matrix, first element, second matrix, first element added. Similarly, first matrix, suppose third element, second matrix, third element. So now you understand that by addition, we mean that respective elements should be added of each matrix. So A plus B I J is equal to A I J plus B I J. Now putting the values I and J equal to 1 then it is A 1 1 plus B 1 1 and so on. Now even if it is not understood till now, let's take some examples to understand the same. So I am taking example number 1 wherein I have been given one matrix A as 5 3 4 6. The other matrix is B as say 0, 1, 4, 2 and I am supposed to do find out what? You are supposed to find out the resultant matrix A plus B. Now the solution to this would be what A plus B is possible or not? First know that possibility of addition exists if and only if my matrices are of the same order. You see M by N here, M by N here. So the matrices should be of the same order in order to operate for addition, right? So A plus B, check whether possible or not, two rows, two columns, the order is 2 by 2. Here also check this, two rows, two columns, the order is 2 by 2. Now what is A plus B? A plus B basically means the addition of first row, first element, first row here, first element. So I have a new matrix of the same order 2 by 2 which is obtained by adding the first element here, first element here. That is A11 plus B11. 5 plus 0 is 5. Right? Similarly, the next element is what? 3 plus 1. That is A12 plus B12. That is 4. What about the next case? 4 plus 4. What is it? It is 8. Last but not the least element. How do you obtain it? 6 plus 2 is 8. 6 plus 2 gives me 8. So that means in order to find out the addition of two matrices or two or more matrices, one condition is for sure that the order should be same. The other thing you have to always take into account the respective position elements and then only add it. Let's take another example. I have example number two that is the another example. I have been given a matrix A as 0, 1 and another matrix B as 5, 3. And the question is asking me to find what is the resultant matrix in the order of A plus B. Now, first you have to check whether A plus B is possible or not. What is the order of the first matrix? It is two rows, one column, so it is two by one. What about the second matrix? The second matrix is one row, two columns, so it is one by two. Now, two by one, one by two, are they same? No, they are not same because the first case two rows, 
the second case one row they are not same the number of rows are respectively not equal the number of columns are respectively not equal so the solution would be what so i would say a plus b does not exist that means you cannot find the addition in the order to find a resultant matrix why because the condition of the same order is not fulfilled so in this video we saw the first operation on the matrix which is called as addition of matrix let me put a tick mark in the next video we'll be taking into account some other concept on operation of matrices